Well, port workers in Baltimore are on strike. It is another major disruption for the port more than six months after the Key Bridge collapsed. WMER 2 News is Jack Watson live from the port tonight. Jack. Hey Kelly, tens of thousands of port workers up and down the eastern seaboard, even as far south as the Gulf Coast in Texas, are calling for higher wages and a ban on automation to protect their careers. Uh, and this, the, like you said, the second major disruption for the port since the Key Bridge collapse happened this year as well, of course. Uh, this is going to have an impact, a tangible impact on business here in Maryland. The pickets formed in the early morning and continued into Tuesday afternoon. Longshoremen in Baltimore and at other major ports are on strike. The International Longshoremen's Association, Local 333 here in Baltimore, declined our request for an on-camera interview. Right now is, is our peak and, and time is of the essence and uh, uh, it couldn't really happen at a work time for, for agriculture in North Central Maryland. As Frederick County farmer David Burrier told me, this will have a tangible impact on soybean growers in Maryland. Farmers in counties like Frederick, Baltimore, and Carroll lean on the port to transport their crops. Right now is their time to harvest, and the product has to stay in constant motion. We need uh, to put these beans in motion continually. Every day the beans need to move because we don't have enough storage for our crop. So it's, it's a work in progress uh, every day, and so uh, if this backs up, this will back up harvest. Meantime, car dealers are also weighing the impacts. Peter Kitzmiller with the Maryland Automobile Dealers Association says there shouldn't be much immediate concern, but if the strike drags on. At some point, um, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to create issues because of the, the large amount of vehicles that come certainly come through, through Baltimore, but also um, the rest of the East Coast. It, 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 it could definitely have an impact. But again, short term, I don't think you're, if you're going to look for a car or get your car serviced, it's not going to have any impact. The ILA said on Monday the U.S. Maritime Alliance is offering them an unacceptable wage they reject. The Maritime Alliance said it asked for an extension of the current master contract and that it would increase wages by about 50 percent. So, Jack, you still got some workers out there or strikers out there on the picket lines during the dinner hour. Any idea how long this could last? Hey, Kelly, we haven't seen any indication that this is going to end anytime soon. In fact, at a national level up in North Jersey, uh, the union said that it would pick it 24 seven around the clock. They would hold out as long as they need to in order to get a favorable contract for their longshoremen. And we can see that on the signs that they're carrying, which say machines don't feed families and no work without a fair contract. And there it is that cuts at exactly what they're after here in Baltimore and around the country as we hear those beeps in solidarity here on Broning Highway. We are live at the Port of Baltimore. Jack Watson, WMAR 2 News.